Do you still say it's bright and early whenever you get to work before the sun comes up? Of course not! This song is nice. Now I can talk. <laughs> That's bad news for you guys. Aw, she's so cute. Hey guys welcome back to tubes time you're watching our daily vlog series called the daily grind and this is episode number 31 we just got done milking autumn and we're about to strain our milk wanted to note one more thing if you do not have time or you just have a really short attention span <laughs> head down to the box below and you can see a whole list of timestamps where you can skip straight to the content that you actually want to see in this video but i should note i'd much rather you watch the entire video yeah, me too, man. We're down here in the wood shop, about to get started where we left off yesterday. Two things to do first. We need to go outside and do a quick video recording for Jesse with the DJI Ronin. And then we're gonna come in here and install these two lights real quick. I wanted some extra lighting in here, have for a while. I thought, <laughs> I thought six big lights in here was gonna be enough. But since I didn't run any extra electrical boxes, I just had Jesse go pick up these same lights that she's using over there for her grow lights from Wally World. And I'm going to run them up to the outlet that the garage door openers plug into. And God said, let there be light. Well, all done with that. Whole lot more light in here. Thank you, Lord. I'm gonna go do some filming for Jesse's video, then we're gonna get back to work. Whoops. Think about it though. Filming is work, isn't it? I was gonna get a little bit of footage of us filming for the next video, but that would give away the next video now, wouldn't it? All right, I got all the mortise and tenons trimmed down to exactly how I want them. Now, the next phase of this is going to be cutting a slot on the inside of this board all the way around the door and this slot is going to be three quarter inch thick so that i can slide this piece of three quarter inch plywood in before we slide the plywood in and cut it to fit there's going to be a board that comes across from here to here and that's to give the door more of a divided up look for extra dimension so this is going to be the first panel. There's going to be a divider, and here's the second panel. So we're going to cut our slots. Then we're going to cut that divider board. It's essentially going to be one of these here that divides it, and that one will also have the slots cut in it. And after that, we're going to be ready to cut to fit our three-quarter inch plywood. This three-quarter inch slot, I think we're going to yeah, go yeah, ahead yeah. and put Get some data cutting, would you? in to make this a whole lot quicker. Hey man, 
man. Um, you should probably get you some new sh shorts. Yeah, you, you, you got you got a little paint on them. <laughs> Brownies. Brownies? Are you going to help me for Asher? Are you going to give one to Daddy? No. Hey, that's not nice. No? You're not going to share? Yeah. You're going to share with Mommy. And Daddy. Okay, kid. We're still friends. And Daddy. Okay, let's make some. Asher, Asher what's our ingredients? Um, half a egg. Half a cup of what? Oil. Oil. And you're going to measure it with what? With yeah. that? That's right. And what else did we need? Eggs. Eggs. And where did those eggs come from? Nana. Nana. Where? Nana's chickens, huh? Are we ready? All right. We're ready. Let's do this. So we gotta move, not that, That's that's gotta be locked. So let's put that right there, okay? And that way that don't come open. And then the, it's on over here. So can you walk around? Here, let me see. We're gonna move it, Asher, to the number four. Can you do that? Number you see five. that number four? Number five. No, there's, there's a four, see it? Okay, move that lever to that number. It's gonna be so yummy. I'm adding rag. You need a rag? Yeah. I don't need a rag. You don't need a rag. You're gonna get to lick the spoon. Oh. Oh. Ah, sure. Is it gonna be good? Mm -hmm. Delicious? Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is the best part about making brownies, licking the spoon. <laughs> Lick it out there. Is it good? Yeah. You think it's gonna be yummy? Mm. <laughs> you made that. All right, now we're gonna pour it in our pan. Okay. On it? Yeah. Are you sure? All right. Yum, yum. Is that all you want? Because I'm about to put it in the sink. Is that all you want? Oil. Okay. Oh, oil. Okay. What did we add? Did we add extra chocolate? Yeah. Yeah. I'm eat it. <laughs> oh, be careful. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. Look how adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Did today. <laughs> now you can see uh, the slot cut 
on the inside that goes all the way around it. Oh yes, very nice. Three quarter inches wide. So as huge of a stock of clamps that I keep on hand, none of them are actually wide enough to clamp that huge door down. <laughs> they go up to about 48 inches, maybe a little more. That one's, uh, that door is 52 inches and three quarters wide. So heading into town to get a couple long sticks of pipe and some pipe clamps so that I can clamp that sucker down. All right, now that we have everything clamped together, show you what we're looking at now. Again, you got the grooves to go all the way around. Got this piece clamped in. Now we need to take this out the clamp and go ahead and cut the groove into this now that we know everything's fitting right. We're gonna have the exact same groove here that we have around the entire rest of the door. After that, we are ready to go ahead and install some plywood in this. We're gonna have to cut some plywood to fit and then should just be able to slide it all in. Once that plywood's in, we're gonna start putting our trim on and the only thing after that is sanding down and starting to finish work. Yeah, this is gonna be a really nice door. Needed a slot cut on both sides. So that's what this one looks like. this for the day here we are so something else I'd like to do to this door what I typically do is put just one dowel rod that goes through this uh, the top of this board through the tenon on this board and then out the other side and then I glue those in I'll do that on all four corners it's just one more level of insurance, as if it's not gonna hold just fine with the mortise and tenons, right? But I like to overkill everything. So basically, yeah, we'll put these dowel rods through. It'll just act like a, a screw, except it's not metal. Try to put as little metal into my doors as I can. Other than that, build-wise, we have our molding made up right there. It's actually going to go 
on the inside of each of these squares, just on the front side. And once that molding's done, head on into finish work mode. I would go ahead and, you know, start doing all the same stuff on my other door. But A, there's CNC work that needs to be done on that other door, or the other two doors. And B, I don't have the room to have all these doors just hanging out in my shop. I don't have a huge shop. I have a double car garage that runs the length of my house. And that's what I've turned into my wood shop. So, one at a time. <laughs> Well, we have a wedding tomorrow and it has already started raining and it's supposed to just be raining the entire day tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna do a daily grind tomorrow. It's just supposed to be nasty. Also, being it's supposed to thunderstorm all night and all day, I'm not going to milk autumn in the morning. That'd just be one more stressor on wedding day that I don't wanna worry about with this bad weather. So we're pretty much done for the evening. Asher and I had to run up to Harbor Freight and to the ATV store and get some um, weather stripping that goes around the front windshield of our mule. Somehow I lost that. It'd be easy to lose and easy to miss because the window's been down all summer. <laughs> We don't usually put it up very much during the summer. So, and we also at Harbor Freight had to get a few tools and things to help us out with this next door that we're gonna be working on. And it's been just nothing but nasty weather, so why not go make a store run? And we are coming home with pizza, so mama don't have to cook tonight. Pretty much done for the night. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you enjoy the woodworking as much as I do. It may be boring to you guys. If y'all don't like watching me build things, let me know. I won't do it anymore. Or at least I won't let you see me do it anymore. <laughs> but it's part of the daily grind. You know, we have, we wear many hats on our homestead. And one of those hats is woodworker. So it's just part of it have a large variety of things that we do on our homestead and the whole point of this daily grind series is just so you can see just what, what all it is that we do on our homestead so hope you guys did enjoy this if you did please hit that like button the subscribe button the notification bell and go ahead and comment down below and we'll see you on the next one god bless you god bless. <laughs>